Toys, man. I can't, yeah, I can't stand them. If it's one thing I hate about graffiti, it's toys and everybody's a toy. Now that I got your attention, just now, I didn't mean any of that. I, <laughs> I just wanted to hook you. And hopefully it worked. But we will be ranting about how important the fundamentals are and what is keeping you from being good at graffiti. What's keeping you as a toy literally for your entire life in graffiti in many cases. Because check it out. I can go through my Instagram right now. I literally, literally, I'm not even kidding you. It's driving me to the brink of insanity. I do critiques for hours every single day. I, I, I hit up a ton of people. Yes, I smack myself in the eye. Don't, don't make fun of me. No joke. I think from January 1st all the way to this point right here of recording this video, I think I've only given four critiques where I didn't say keep it simple, practice the basics. Now, the worst part about this is every time I say it in the videos, people watching think I'm not talking about them. They think I'm talking about someone else. Someone else who's watching the videos. But no, 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 no. I'm, I'm definitely talking about you. Like I said before, only four people since January 1st have gotten a critique where I didn't say keep it simple, practice the basics. And this ranges from graffiti artists day one in graffiti all the way up to decades in graffiti. It's truly the best advice that nobody listens to, honestly. It's the best advice that every single new and even experienced graffiti artist wants to glaze right over. And you might be saying, Exper experienced graffiti artist, why would you say keep it simple, practice basics to experienced graffiti artists? And the answer is because graffiti has the lowest standard of knowledge out of any art form. Every other art form, their standard, let's just say for example is up here, graffiti's is all the way down to the floor. Every other art form requires that you understand a bunch of already established things in the art world. The graffiti doesn't require you know any of those things. So you have these experienced graffiti artists who are good at making visually nice looking images, but they don't know any of the fundamentals. So as a result, some of their fundamentals are broken, just severely broken. Letter structure doesn't quite work in a lot of instances. Their flow is always disrupted or something. Something fundamentally is always wrong with their work. And that's obviously not to say every single experienced graffiti artist, not by any means, because there's a bunch of incredible graffiti artists who don't know the fundamentals, but they also don't make fundamental mistakes. They just got years and years of trial and error in order to kind of gain an intuition for it, which luckily for them. And I don't think graffiti artists realize how much of an issue this is and how this right here, not understanding the fundamentals, is the reason why they inevitably plateau. It's the reason why they struggle with most of the things they struggle with. And had they learned the fundamentals, they wouldn't have those issues. Something I hear a lot of graffiti artists complain about is how certain people don't change their style. You'll often hear some people say, oh, I don't like this graffiti artist because they've been doing the same thing for years. You'll even hear some graffiti artists say that about themselves. But if they understood the basics, they'd understand how to analyze any style in existence and how to change their own style to whatever they want or even create a whole new style for themselves on the spot if they just learned the basics. It is literally that easy. If you know the basics, you can do whatever you want to your pieces at will. I'm trying to invite you guys into the standard of knowledge. I'm not talking about standard of skill. I'm talking about standard of knowledge. A good artist is a smart artist. In order to become better, more fluent at this art, we have to raise the standard of information that we need to consider something good. The reason graffiti artists have always been so impressed and so inspired by other art forms like comic books, anime, oil painting for some graffiti artists is because those other art forms have a higher standard in every sense of the word. Even in Star Wars, if you remember correctly, they were talking about, I believe it was Frank Frazetta or Boris Vallejo. This is a perfect video to go ahead and let you guys know. I published a bunch of ebooks talking about the fundamentals and getting you started in graffiti. And we have even more books on the way that I'm working on. So if you want to make graffiti easy to learn, go down to the description down below and check out the ebooks. I highly recommend the bundle because it's all of them in one. We just got them professionally edited and formatted, which I'm really excited about. So th thank you guys for making that possible. Now, please take note. I was very careful to separate standard of skill from standard of knowledge because one does not necessarily equal the other. One does make it extremely possible to achieve the other, but it doesn't necessarily guarantee it. Just because you read a lot of books on art or you watch a lot of YouTube videos doesn't mean you're immediately good. You have to put in the practice. You have to put in the practice. That's the key part. On the flip side, if you never study any of the art behind it, if you never study any of the science behind it, when you do go to practice, you're not practicing all that effectively, which is why it takes most graffiti artists decades to learn the most basic of things. And that's no exaggeration. I've been teaching for almost two decades. I've, I've seen graffiti artists spend that time not learning and seen fine artists who started at the same time learn to a professional degree. There's no reason it should take graffiti artists longer than it takes somebody to get a doctorate in order to learn the basics of art. That should be appalling to you. That should be a massive red flag. And the fact that almost every single 
real graffiti artist in existence. That is no exaggeration. Almost every graffiti artist that exists on the earth right now does not know the fundamentals. Most don't even know what the elements of art mean. They don't know what art form specific fundamentals mean and how that functions and how it plays a role in arts in general. They also don't know the science behind how style functions. These are all pivotal things that every other art field understands. This is only new to graffiti. This is only a paradigm shift for graffiti. Everyone else has been at this party for decades, if not centuries in the case of fine art. And I'll give you guys a real example of this. Most graffiti artists don't understand how to do one point perspective properly. They know Vanishing Point 3D, but that's a watered down version of one point perspective. That's not actually one point perspective. That's one point perspective done incorrectly, and it's a simplified version of it. Now, one point perspective, that's a topic it takes five minutes to learn the formula of. Now, I'm not saying it takes five minutes in order to master it, but to learn the formula of how it functions, that's a five minute lesson. Now, I've seen graffiti artists literally go their entire life into the grave without ever actually learning one point perspective. It takes them 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 years before they ever learn one point perspective. And it's a five minute lesson. Question now becomes, why does it take them so long? What's stopping them from learning it? Is it because graffiti artists are dumb? No, not, not at all. You got some geniuses in this art form, some absolutely incredible guys, but they're distracted. They're distracted by style, right? The appeal of doing stylistic technical work is too great and too alluring and it pulls them away from learning the fundamentals. They don't want to sit there and put in the work to practice the fundamentals. Instead of spending a couple of years, two, three, four, five years in order to learn all the fundamentals, they rather spend two, three, four decades to learn those very same fundamentals through the process of trial and error, minus the studying. So they start off in graffiti, they're doing their pieces, they become satisfied with what they're doing, they grind, they grind, they grind, banging their head against the wall, finally they make some progress, finally they're decent and mediocre, and they learn Vanishing Point 3D instead of One Point Perspective. They think it's all good for their work, they think that's as far as they need to take it, there's no need to go any further, they know what they know, they know that they know it, and there's no telling them otherwise. So now when you hit them up with, hey, maybe you should try out One Point Perspective, this is how horizon lines function, they're, in a, they're, they're, they're baffled, they don't understand, and they, you know, push it to the side, I don't want to do that, I already know how to do this other thing. And now that they deemed Vanishing Point 3D to be good enough for their needs, why would they ever bother to learn One Point Perspective? Their standard is lowered. All of this because they didn't keep it simple and practice the basics. And I think it's funny because people will downplay the fundamentals, they'll act like they're not super important, they'll say, oh, graffiti is a vibe, it's an energy, you can do it how you want to, and then they're always the ones who are super impressed by graffiti artists who know the fundamentals. There's a reason why anyone who attempts 3D graffiti copies Dame, because the dude knows the fundamentals. There's a reason why everyone's so impressed with Mad C and everyone's so impressed with these other graffiti artists. They know the fundamentals. That's what it takes. That's what it takes to achieve something more than the standard that graffiti typically holds for its participants. Just because graffiti has a standard down here doesn't mean you need to stay there. You as an individual can have your standards much higher. You can hold yourself to the higher standard of other art forms and just do graffiti to that standard. But it requires that you put in the work and practice the fundamentals like every other art form does. Now I think this rant has gone on long enough. I, I think I might make a follow up video talking specifically about style and how that functions and the science behind it in regards to every art form in existence. But we'll wait for a different video for that because <laughs> this video has gone on long enough. So dudes, if there's one thing you take away from this, let it be. Keep it simple. Practice the basics. Something I think would really help you out. If you want to get started learning those very fundamentals, check out the best how to do graffiti playlist anywhere online. And feel free to check out some more graffiti content down here. I'll catch you guys next week. Thank you for watching.